Well, I found it really good that this is a free space created in a place that is normally a utilitarian space, and, and that's fine too, but creating a free space with this kind of atmosphere and for a cause that is truly international and affects every one of us, I think, is just exemplary. It's just fantastic to see the diversity of people and the sheer energy. It feels like it's going somewhere completely new, away from uh, where we've been on the fringes for all this time. So I'm really delighted. I've had friends who've tried to go vegan before. So my dad calls me a vegan <laughs> because I'm, I'm a bit vague about it. It's about taking responsibility for the way that we choose to live our lives and the impact that that is having on how other people are experiencing their lives all over the world, as well as future generations. The effect it has on our lives here in London at the moment isn't necessarily reflective of what's happening to other people elsewhere in the world. If you're prepared to be arrested, then please go and talk in the green tent over there and find out what, what you need to do, what you need to know. Uh, and you are welcome along with all of us here to, to stay and do that. If you're not prepared to be arrested, and that is totally understandable and that is really cool and there's loads of reasons why people might not want to be or be prepared to be. We need you here to support those who are. I'm doing this because I feel I have literally no other choice to make people in positions of power listen other than place my body in the road. With a book of flesh and blood. I said forget to we are all threatened by this crisis, equally, whatever our job, whatever our past, we're just all here together facing a crisis on a scale nobody has ever known. But you don't listen to what they tell you on mainstream TV. Especially organic Especially organic I feel hope because I know that a better world is possible. I've got two kids. If we can engage ourselves in restoring the earth, I think it'll make us, many of us, human beings, happier. You can still eat cake and it tastes great because it's I've just been handing out leaflets on Waterloo Bridge to passers-by. I'm feeling really heartened at the public's response and how positive people are, or just intrigued and curious and have the same desire for things to change. They say everything can be replaced. And they say every distance is not say to those who are being disrupted that we are really and sincerely sorry. The government are perpetuating this, this disruption. If they would only come out and acknowledge us and engage with us, there'd be no need for this kind of action.